What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are back out at the range. Got Run It Tactical with me. I don't care what he says. I got him with me. Now, if y'all didn't see my last video with the Empire Katana, uh, I want to go ahead and thank all y'all. We finally made it to 1,000 subs. We're finally fully monetized. So we hit our first goal, and it's just on to the next one. So we appreciate all y'all. It, it was a long road, and uh, but we did it. We did it. And now we gotta get to 2,000. But we're gonna be doing a giveaway soon. Once we get 1,500 subs, I'm gonna be doing a pretty, pretty decent giveaway. So, what are we doing? well, uh, we're gonna, first off, this is new I'll, give you, I'll give you all a li one thing that's gonna be in it, and that's gonna be a core EDC belt. And there's gonna be two more items in that, but we're gonna wait till we get a little bit closer because I wanna see what colors I can get for y'all and kind of what y'all think about it as we get closer. But I did put a poll out and I asked you guys, do y'all want to see a 43X versus 48 video or the Radian Ramjet? And y'all decided on the 43X versus the 48. So not only is this video for you guys, but this video is for me. Because today we are going to find out which one I actually prefer to shoot. Do I like the 48 better or do I like the 43X better? Now to make it a fair comparison, we are going to take this slide off of this gun and we're going to put it on this gun. So we're going to run the same frame with both slides just so we got the same trigger same everything so we can just tell the real difference between the two if you are watching this video y'all go check out Ryan's video we just made a, ch a video on his channel great video and uh he's got a new gun so uh y'all definitely need to go check that out side note man i hate to be the very bad news but uh i'm gonna probably be gone for a little bit man i gotta gotta take care of some stuff so it's probably gonna be a while for y'all see another video from me but i'm gonna definitely be out here helping him so. yeah yeah, y'all know what you've been carrying lately. Yeah, okay. So if y'all, if you're new to the channel, this is usually what I carry. Not the frame. I usually have this slide on my Glock 48 frame. Looks awesome. Looks amazing. Love it. And I liked it because the flashlight stuck out farther than the slide, and it just looked real cool. It's got ports. But recently, I put this slide back on this gun, and I was like, man, that looks good. It's been a long time since I've seen an all black, I've had all black gun. Black everything, yep. Bro. So, uh, all black, black guns matter. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, I just was like, you know what? I kind of like this. So, I want to prove to myself, is this better than the 43X? I'm going to tell you yes already. Well, we're going to find out. We're going to do an accuracy test. We're going to do just everything I can do to figure this out. We also got the 20 round Gen 3 Shield Arms mags. Shout out to Shield Arms. They did send this out to the channel, but we're gonna test this out alongside this video. And, uh, but it, if, it, if it has problems, it has problems. And uh, I'm not gonna lie about it. Y'all are gonna see everything. So we are gonna be testing both of these together, guys. So let's go ahead and get loaded up and we'll be right back. All right, first up, we are at 10 yards. And uh, I know someone in here is going to say, that's not 10 yards. It is 10 yards. I can promise you it's 10 yards. Um, but we're going to start off with the 48 with the 20 round mags. I do want to show y'all something. If y'all have the 945 Industries bag <laughs> and you just so happen to have a QLS fork and, uh, you know, the, the little hip thing where you can slide holsters on this thing, it will work on the 945 Industries. I just took the Velcro part off the back and there are two holes right here and right there and it fits perfect so i was able to rig this to also be a hip uh mid-ride holster so we're gonna be drawn with that it does use the tlr7 sub so we're gonna find out real quick i'm going to aim at the number two and really right now it's not gonna be so much of an accuracy test as much as i want to see how these guns feel Oh. <laughs> yeah, this gun shoots casings to outer space, but it did run all 20 rounds, no problem at all. So, all right, all right. So let's go down here. All right, so all of them were in except for this, these two, and I felt that that was my fault. Dot was a little up before I pulled the trigger, pulled it too early. I dipped right here, but all in. Now, I do gotta say, 
I think that might be a little bit less recoil than my 43X. So I don't know. Let's go ahead and find out real quick. All right, same distance. See, now this is what it looks like if you haven't seen this on, the, on my channel. It uh, looks good. If you want to know about this gun, Shark Coast Tactical, uh, this is a OEM slide, guys. It's not a aftermarket slide. I have a video. I'll put it in the, at the end of the video. That is confirmation for me. Me and Run It was gonna have a competition a couple weeks ago. Wasn't able to, not only was it windy, but the dot was off. And at 15, 20 yards trying to aim at a plate like this big, I was having problems. And sure enough, it, it's off. So let me show you guys. All of my shots are right up top versus down here, I was right in the perfect area. I had to aim lower in order to compensate to get it in there, so. I'm gonna have to drop the dot down. I mean, a uh, couple cl say, couple clicks down. On paper, one would say you only got one flying here versus you. Yeah, yeah. One one would say that. But that's 15 rounds versus 20 <laughs> rounds. Who's to say I wouldn't have dropped one in the last five yeah, rounds? You, you know. Boy, boy's gonna be in there. Yeah, I know. How can you say that if? Cause I said it. My first thought so far shooting these two, I do think the 48 might be less recoil for sure it did feel now y'all will know because y'all are watching it and getting to see the gun but i do think this has more recoil but let's try a couple things out let's move out to let's move out to 20 yards all right we're gonna let run it shoot the this one we are now at 20 yards and then i'm gonna let him shoot the middle two i'm gonna do five uh, i'm gonna do five or five all right <clears throat> Oh, you pulled two. That stuff is keyholing too. <laughs> it, both of them. Are, no, this is this is my ammo. It was keyholing on your yeah. other MMP too. Yeah. Federal, what's up, <laughs> bro? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see this good. I might zoom it in on editing. Right, that is a straight up keyhole. That is almost keyhole. That is a keyhole. That was a keyhole. And see how he was like, boom, boom. I was like, yeah. And then he went, boom. And then he went, boom. And then boom. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Bruh, that's why I was 11.99. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's used to using... Uh, blazer. And uh, uh, yeah, blazer and what is else is it? Seller and belt. Seller and belt, yeah. This is what he's using. 115 grain federal brass. And on his video, if y'all haven't seen it, go check it out. He's got a good video out right now on a new gun he just purchased. Uh, and it was the same thing. It looked like it was keyholing. I thought we were maybe tripping for a second till we started using my ammo and for sure it's keyholing, but. All right, I'm gonna do uh, three on the left square. Three on the left? Yeah. Man. That's crazy. Here in a second, we'll uh, we'll use some of yours. Yeah, here in a second, I'm gonna let him shoot some of my ammo because I think also he is run. It's more accurate than that. I think the ammo not only is keyholing, but it's it's uh, not very accurate. It's not consistent. But yeah, all these right here are him. I can't say uh, regardless of what the paper says though. Um, I'm definitely able to get back on target a lot quicker with this. Uh, you know, 48, I've been saying that's one of my favorite uh, Glocks, so probably going to be a little biased about it, but, you know. This yep. this Magwell, bro, you, you, yeah, great, great choice, man. Great choice. Well, I want to ask you and the guy, the people in the comments, or people that are watching this video, what do y'all think? Do y'all think, you see this burnt bronze? Should I get a burnt bronze mag release, a burnt bronze barrel, and burnt bronze pins? Or should I go with a different color? If you're gonna do the burnt bronze barrel, you're gonna get it ported like you know. Yeah, you're gonna I, I'm gonna get it ported. I'm getting this ported. You're gonna get the slide cutting on it? I, I, well, I think I'm gonna take this slide and have it cut, yeah. 100%. 20 round mag has ran 100% reliably so far, mm -hmm. if y'all haven't noticed. So, I'm super happy about that. 
These are the Gen 2s. These are the Gen 3s. There is a different coating. These are more slippery. This is more of a matte finish. It has ridges in the back so that it's less wiggle in the mag the magwell. This one does not. Uh, the mag release or the mag uh, slot is wider on this one. And there's a couple little different places on this, the geometry of these mags that are just a little bit different. The followers are exactly the same though. But so those are both shield arms. Yeah. The base plate on that one is too? Yeah. Shield arms, shield arms. That's what's up. These are Gen 2s, these are Gen 3s. Now, the Gen 3 mags without the 5 plus 5 have the same exact mm -hmm. base plate. So, I like these better. These were made by uh, CMI, and CMI has always been kind of so-so on mags. They're okay. But now these are made by somebody else. I, I don't remember exactly, but they are all made in the USA. So, let's load up and let's move out to 40. All right, we are now at 40 yards. I'm gonna aim for the bottom targets. I'm gonna do the 48 on the red number one. And we do have a fully loaded 20 round mag again, because the best way to test these things is to fully load them. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 10 rounds with the 48 and 10 rounds with the Glock 43X. Now, I'm not gonna go fast. I wanna see how accurate I can be with these because we are at 40 yards. So, here we go. All right, let Shooter me ready. ready. Yep. Are you gonna draw too? Yeah. Okay, cool. Stand by. Alright. 15 seconds. Um, I did pull those. I felt that. I was it is a lot harder at 40 yards. Um, the dot is moving a lot more on a target that's 40 yards away. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch over to the 43X. Here we go. All right. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. From what I can see. All right, let's go check it out. Uh, 10 13. 10 13, yeah, eight rounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm more accurate with the 48, I can tell you that. I know for sure these three right here are the 48s. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we hold that. Okay, so for the 48, I was aiming here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe some of them up top. Can't be too many. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. At distance, I'm picking the 48. And the 48 just feels with less it feels less recoil and I'm more accurate with it. So but I think me and Runner are gonna do a quick build drill with each gun one time a piece. So let's try that out. I just put up that new target right there. It is a pretty small target, but we are going to aim for that. We are at about seven yards, I'd say. Definitely about seven. Shooter ready? Mm -hmm. Stand by. Yeah. <laughs> find that duck, my boy. I know, man. One. one two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Or, yeah, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, so he got all six in. We're going to mark them off real quick, and then I'm going to do it. My turn. By the way, I wanted to say one thing, guys. I hate when people, I don't hate it, but I think it's its ridiculous, when they feel like they gotta press check a Glock to see if there's a bullet in there. Dude, all you gotta do is just look right here. Watch this, see it's black? Now, you can see brass right there in the chamber. You don't have to. All right. Hey man, it's a cool thing. Yeah, there's like, I'm cool, man. Cool. I'm cool. Cool thing. All right. Here we go. All right, shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Yeah, man, it's a small target though. Like 
Dang. Not not making excuses, but it's a small target, bro. It's I need to train more too. Yeah, I mean, I know, but I need to train more too because I shot about three of those right over the target. One, two, three, and then the rest went over. What? Oh, what? Four? Does that? Does that look like that before? You talking about on top? Yeah, the top part of it. Could be. Could be. And then two went over the top. By the way, I got like a 339. Terrible, absolutely horrible, but we put a new target up. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, we're gonna try that out. And we're gonna use the 48. So, all right, shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Four. Did I? Say Let's, it's only got five here. Let's go check. One, dang it. I got you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So they just missed one. So I pulled that one. That might have been my first shot or my third. I don't really remember. But the rest of them were all right here. So definitely much better with the 48, but I don't really know what that is. It, the, it is a different dot. This is a 507 instead of the EPS. Um, I don't know, guys. Smile but window, man. Let's let run it, run it. So far, I'm liking the 48. I'm liking the 48. But we will see in the footage which one actually has less recoil. Shooter ready? Yes, sir. Stand by. Y'all see the smile on his face after he got done shooting that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe. What the shot time I said, dude? Say five. Two forty six shots. All right, we're gonna do Mozambique drill real quick. Two to the chest, one to the head. If you don't know what that is. So three rounds all together, and uh, we're gonna see which one we're better at. Once again, seven yards, and I think we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, we might do one more mag after that and just sit there and feel the recoil and uh, see which one's better. But I'm telling you guys, it's going towards the 48, and we're not cheating, because same trigger, same frame, same everything. So here we go, three rounds. And on top of that, the Shield Arms has been running reliably. Yeah, Happy to say. And it looks good. Good job, Shield Arms. It looks good. All right. Ready? All right. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Two. 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 All right, so there we go. And you said it was what time? Uh, 251. 251, 251. All right, let's try that again with Run It. Shooter ready? Stand by. <laughs> 276. I know I had my uh, fist shot really low. Yeah, it's okay. Headshot was good. One right there, and then one right here. All right, shooter ready? Yep. Bye. So let me ask you a question. A lot of people ask this question. Yep. You take in. Speed over accuracy or accuracy over speed? <sighs> accuracy over speed, but when I'm training, sometimes I do speed over accuracy. Mm -hmm. But one, one, two, three. So it was boom, boom, boom. Missed the headshot, but guys, this is a small head. Like for instance, like that, that thing. 12 inch by 18 target. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is very small. Yeah. So, I didn't really notice too much of a difference. See, at this distance, uh, the four, I didn't mind the 43X. Um, although, it's just a little bit snappier, but it's a good gun. I love the 43X, that's why I bought it. 
It's a great gun. But that's the cool thing about Glock is sometimes if you get bored of this, you just pop on this. You got a whole new gun now. You get bored of this, pop on this. But, all right, let's let Run it run the 43X. Whew, my point of aim with this thing is just crazy. <laughs> all, right, all right, stand by. All right, he got a 260, and he had one down low, one in the head, and one right here in the middle of the chest. So I think it's solid, but my question to you is, actually, let's hold that. We are going to just run about eight rounds a piece real quick, and we're gonna see just how it feels and just really focus on the recoil, feel, focus on everything. So let's check it out real quick. Uh, I didn't notice too much of a difference. It definitely felt like I had more control with this and that the dot really stayed in the window, but it was a very small difference that time. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting warmed up. But let's let Russ try it out. I think, if I'm going to be honest, I get from maybe like three to maybe seven, ten yards. I think, uh, I don't think it is a difference, really. But like, if you're trying to be accurate, I think, yeah, I, I think it really comes down to accuracy, man. But like, we, we shooting at small targets, bro. So we gonna prefer that the, the 48 over the 43. So we shoot at smaller targets, but um, feeling wise, man, I, I'm probably like you, bro. Like, you feel about the same, which is weird. Yeah. Really weird. At first, I thought the 48 had less recoil. Yeah. But I guess the more I got warmed up, mm. the more it kind of felt like. It well, too. Yeah. I think it was just maybe. I think there is a little less recoil with the 48, but it's it's very minuscule. Uh, it's not really going to matter too much. Um, but my opinions, guys, is I think go buy two. Go buy both. Get both of them. No. Don't buy SIG. Don't buy MP. Don't buy. Just get two Glocks. Get two Glocks. You want to run this one day? Switch it out. Run this one day. I taught you nothing. <laughs> hey, you know, you know. Now we got these shield arms, twenty rounders, and this tiny little gun, bro. It's amazing. So you know, I let my wife run the forty-three X. I'll run the forty-eight. We'll switch when I get bored. <laughs> I think we have come to the conclusion that I like the forty-eight more. Uh, so. Yeah, I think the 48 is better. When we're talking about recoil, I mean, yeah, it's it's very minuscule, but accuracy and velocity, you cannot you cannot deny that. This has better accuracy out to distance, not this, but 48 has better accuracy out to distance and it has more velocity. So, you don't have to worry about anything with that. So, all right guys, I think that's going to be it. Um also, guys, we have the Ballistic Gel video coming soon. We should be doing it in two weeks. So y'all stay tuned for that. It's going to be his MO versus my MO. And we're going to see who's got the better MO. We're also going to see if the barrel size has a problem with velocity and opening up with the hollow point. So we're going we're gonna to find all that out, guys. So y'all stay tuned. I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like gun content. And leave me a comment if you have any questions at all, guys. I will catch you one, guys on the next one. I'll catch you ones on the next one, okay? One, one. I'll catch you ones, bro. One, one, sir. <laughs> we'll catch you one, bro. Catch you.